Hi guys, so today I'm cooking beef stew. This is just the way I make it. Um, uh, there's so many different ways of making it. So today I'm just gonna quickly run through all the ingredients first before I show you how to make it. So I'm using two pounds of beef chopped up in bite size. Um, there's one and a half cup of bite-sized potatoes. And this is usually three to four medium-sized potatoes. And over here I have um, bite-sized carrots. One cup of uh, green peas. Um, one cup of grain rice. So I'm using um, Uncle Ben's seven grain rice. You can use anything. Over here we have everything, all the spices and everything I put in it. That's, this is all I put it. So I put two tablespoons of garlic powder, one and a half tablespoon of pepper, one and a half tablespoon of pink salt, and one and a half tablespoon of dill. So um, that's all that's for the spices. And one cup of strained tomatoes. So I did post a picture of all the ingredients and what they look like in their packaging, kind of. So that's pretty much it. That's all you need for this recipe. Oh yes, and olive oil. And that's okay, about it. So first we're gonna fry the beef for about three to five minutes in the three tablespoons of olive oil. So we're just gonna move that all around here. And I have a gas stove, so mine's uh, much faster than an electric stove. So I'm on six right now, and it's, it's going to cook for about three to five minutes, just with the oil. Okay, so the first step, what you're going to do is put the three tablespoons in the pot, um, heat it up, and add your beef in. Cook that for about three to five minutes. Then after that's done, you're gonna add in all the spices, which I mentioned earlier. Just pour it all in here. There you go. Stir it in. Mix it all in here. And the first three things that you're gonna really cook is the beef, add the spices in. Um, you're going to add the carrots right away because carrots tend to take a really long time to cook. And you're going to put the strained tomatoes. So those are the things you're going to need right away. The rest gets added in later. So. Now I'm going to throw in my carrots. Cook the carrots for about a minute or two. I'm just gonna add in my tomato sauce right away. And then there's some there, I'm gonna add some water to it. Okay, so you mix it all together. And this you're gonna just kind of cook up for the next three to five minutes. I would just do that first. After three to five minutes, we are going to add two to three cups of water and let it boil. Okay, so after three to five minutes, it's going to look like this. And then that's when you need to put in your three cups of water. So I used this because I had some tomato sauce left in it. Try to get it all there. Um, and then here's another cup of water. So that's three in total. And now we're just gonna let this boil for about 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, so it's been about 15 minutes on medium high, so six, I put it on. Um, so you can tell when the oil, that we use the olive oil in the beginning kind of rises up. Um, it's, it's, that's time to put in the rest of the stuff. So we're gonna pop in, I put potatoes and peas and rice at the end 
because they they tend to cook really quickly. You don't want to overcook your potatoes and make your rice really um, mushy. Put the potatoes in. We're gonna add the peas in. Oh, another thing with the peas is if you don't like um, green peas, um, I've tried this uh, with celery instead of green peas, and it's it's amazing as well. Um, and then we're gonna put in the rice together. And after we put everything in, we have to put two more cups of water. And now we're gonna have to boil this on high. So I'm gonna put on eight now for another 10 to 15 minutes. Keep monitoring it and I'll show you how it's supposed to look when it's complete. And that's pretty much it. Okay, so after you boil it for about 10, 15 minutes with the lid on, you take the lid off, give it a stir, and then you keep boiling it or cooking it for another 10 minutes with the lid off. And then you're done. This is how it looks like in the end. You can see the rice, the peas, the potatoes. Um, and yeah, it's ready to eat.